this is bold.diy running locally on my computer and we're using Kimi K2 to write code for us. And in this video, we're going to test how bold.diy performs with Kimi K2. If you don't know about Kimi K2 yet, so Kimi K2 is a large language model launched by Moonshot AI and it is probably one of the best and cheapest AI model out there to write code. Kimi K2 is directly being compared in Cloud for Opus in intelligence and in speed. And when it comes to pricing, Kimi K2 is literally like 20 times cheaper than Cloud for Opus. So in this video, I'm going to do different tests and try to create different projects using Kimi K2 and Bold.diy like this Space Invader game that Bold.diy is still developing. I'm also going to show you that how you can access Kimi K2 API key absolutely for free. The main purpose of this video is actually to test that how Bold.diy performs with Kimi K2 because yesterday I created a mobile application using Klein. If you don't know about Klein, Klein is again another open source plugin for VS Code that you can use to write code. So I created another video. You can actually watch that video on my YouTube channel. So in that video, I created a Flutter mobile application which was a car hire mobile application and that too I created with one simple prompt and so far to be honest I'm stunned by the performance of Kimi K2 it performs really well when it comes to like performing the agentic tasks so before you start this video please subscribe to this YouTube channel and click on that like button as well and if you are not following me on X please just go ahead and follow me on X all right so the first step is installation of bold.diy if you have not already installed bold.diy on your computer I have actually already created very detailed videos on the installation of bold.diy but in this video i'll just like quickly walk you through all of the steps that how you can download and install bold.diy on your computer so to download you need to just go to this github repository you can access this github repository by simply just typing bold.diy so simply just type bold.diy that's it and then simply press enter and it will open this github repository directly and from here what you can do you can simply just copy this github repository this url and then you can just open any empty folder inside your computer let's suppose i have this folder i'll simply just right click here and then click on open in terminal and after that i can simply just run this command which is git clone and then paste that url press enter and what it will do it will clone that repository on my computer just like this i have already cloned that and after that once you have done that just open this repository open this folder inside your terminal and then run these commands which are provided here on this github repository so you can simply scroll down and then you can just like go to this section in here and then from here you can just like run this command first and then paste that it will install the package manager next step is to install dependencies so you can simply just run this command and go back and then simply just press enter and then it will install all of the dependencies for you this is how it will look like it might take like five six minutes but depends on your internet speed but just make sure that you do not close this terminal before it finishes installing all of the dependencies and then last step will be then to run this command which is pnpm run dev this particular command so just run this command once it is done then just run this command pnpm run dev once it will be done then you can simply just open this it will just give you this url which is localhost 5137 so you can simply just open this url inside your browser and then it will open bolt.diy when you will open it for the first time it might just show a blank screen so you can simply just click on reload button and then it will just reload so yeah that's the whole process of installing bolt.diy the next step is getting a free api key to use kimi k2 so for that you can simply just go to open router or just go to open router.ai this is a platform where you can access all of these different LLMs and in here in this search bar you can simply just write Kimi and here you can see there are two versions one is Kimi K2 free and another one is Kimi K2 so you can use Kimi K2 free but you will actually face rate limiting the paid version will cost you 2.49 dollars per million output tokens and 0.14 dollars per million input tokens now this is like dirt cheap when it comes like comparing with the cost of cloud for opus so if you're expecting kind of similar performance you can still use Kimi K2 so you can either use the free version or you can just like use this version next step is to create an api key you can just like go to this top right section from here just click on this a key section and from here simply just click on this create api key just give this api key a name and then it will create an api key for you just like this and then you can just copy this api key from here after that what you can do you can just like go back to your bold.diy which where it was opened on localhost and then you can just go to your settings tab from here from this bottom left so i just click on that settings button and then after that you can simply just click on this cloud providers and from here you can then just choose open router from here where is open router here it is open router so simply you can just uh, like enable that and then after that it will just slow start showing in here in this drop down and from here you can just like choose open router select it from here and now you can just choose which model you want to use so either you can just like like try kimi k2 free version so you can just like click on that and then click on this kimi k2 free and either you can use the free version or 
or you can use Kimi K2, the paid version in here. So if you just want to like try free version before you like try anything else, so you can just like use Kimi K2 the free version or paid version, or you can just like use the Kimi K2 dev as well, which which has 72 billion parameters and it has context of 131k, which is like really amazing. So let's just try using this, and then after that, let's see how it performs, and then we'll see if we can actually use uh, the paid version. Now you can just give it a prompt. Maybe you can clone a GitHub repository, or you can just like simply just write it in your own words. What I'll do, I'll simply just like choose something from here, something like creating a to-do app using Tailwind CSS. So let's just perform something very simple for now, and then later on we'll try to create something complex. So let me just click on this, and then let's just wait how it will perform so so it has been like few seconds but still it is loading all right so right now you can see it has started writing code and it has started setting up this project there is a terminal error so i can simply just click on this ask bold it is still writing code actually so let it just finish first and then i can just simply click on this ask bold we are using kimi dev free version so yeah let's just see like how it performs okay it is still stuck at creating this package.json file but after like waiting for a while now i think we can actually proceed because this might be rate limited and now we can actually like maybe try creating something else because it has failed so far in this even basic task this is not kimi k2 issue this is most probably bolt or diy issue because it does have this kind of like issues it can get stuck for like hours and hours on a simple basic task so let's just like go back and maybe switch to our paid model and then like try to create something else okay so i have this prompt which is for creating a ruby cube simulator it will be a basic html javascript program using 3js so it will create a 3d it should create a 3d ruby cube simulator this is comparatively more complex than the previous task so let's just see if it can actually successfully finish that task or not again this was not kimi k2 issue because i have tested kimi k2 with klein and rue code and it performs exceptionally but let's just see if it can actually perform this task using this like paid version of it so right now you can see it is still loading it has been a few seconds so let's just hold on and wait for it to finish and still it is stuck and still after like more than a minute it is still stuck on here so i think maybe just like start with an task maybe let's just try to create something very basic something in html css only so let's just press on that okay fine all right so now it has started creating so i think the main issue that it has usually is it cannot usually load the templates so it has some something like nextjs template so whenever we like give it a task it loads that template but sometimes it has this error so let's just wait for it to see if it can actually complete this task okay fine Finally, it has created something and I just love this front end design that it has created. Again, this is the magic of Kimi K2, not of bold.dy. But in here, if you see, it was actually stuck on this point. So I had to then run this command like npm install. I had to like run this command to install all of the packages which were mentioned in package.json and then I had to run npm run dev to run this application and then I was successful. Otherwise, it was stuck on here. It was not able to run these commands itself. So yeah, just keep that in mind if you're using it. So. I'll simply just press on this, press on this. Amazing. Okay, cool. This is nice. All right, so draw. Perfect. Victory. Perfect. Okay, cool. So yeah, it has like finally created something. It's a decent game. It's a decent design. It looks it looks really well. So yeah, when it comes to bold.ty, it has its own issues. So if you're looking for something more reliable, if you're like looking for a proper reliable AI code editor, I recommend using something like Klein or Rue code because they are still like more reliable and like proper AI code editors. You can build literally almost anything that you can build with cursor or windsurf or maybe something like augment code. Because with the power of Kimi K2, you can use Klein a root code and this is like kind of a deadly combination and you can actually create any sort of projects so if you haven't watched that video please just go ahead and watch that video the link is in description somewhere so just go ahead and watch that video and then you can just like maybe rather than using bold.dy you should use something like client i hope you really like this video if you have any further questions please just leave your comments in the comment section i'll see you next video bye bye